Despite having apparently validated drug targets, 30% of drugs fail in Phase II clinical development. In addition, large numbers of drug candidates fail in Phase III due to poorly understood mechanisms of drug action in areas of high unmet needs. Researchers need technologies and analysis techniques that can help reduce this attrition and, at the same time, improve patient outcomes. Leveraging genomics, proteomics and metabolomics data has helped to advance our understanding of diseases and their progressions. In particular, biomarkers can serve as unique disease prognostic and diagnostic signatures as well as offer insights into drug action on the intended drug targets. Some examples of biomarkers that are used every day to diagnose and monitor diseases include C-reactive protein for cardiac health and blood glucose levels for diabetes. However, many diseases such as cancers still lack sufficient biomarkers that could definitively diagnose disease and track disease progression and drug effectiveness. These markers could have a big impact on human health and on the pharmaceutical drug development cycle. Carefully selected biomarkers could track effectiveness of drug therapies and or disease progression for personalized medicine, newly approved drugs and drugs in clinical development to aid in understanding the prediction, cause, diagnosis, progression, regression or outcome of treatments of disease. Ultimately, biomarkers could improve clinical outcomes and potentially reduce costs of clinical development. In this session, we will explore how researchers can use Pathway Studio to discover potential disease biomarkers and biomarkers of drug action. As a molecular biologist, research requires you to process information from multiple sources in order to ensure high confidence in decisions for your biomarker discovery program. Unstructured information is found in various places, from published literature, experimental data, and internal documents, and the sheer amount is staggering. Filtering through these disparate resources and placing them into a structured framework is often challenging and very time-consuming. Pathway Studio helps streamline this process by providing a filtered set of knowledge and best-in-class analytical and visualization tools that place complex biology into pathway context, which facilitates learning and understanding how proteins interact and affect disease progression and the mechanisms of drug action, two critical areas of biomarker research. In this video, we will demonstrate how to use Pathway Studio to identify potential biomarkers for drug efficacy monitoring when treating a disease. Specifically, this workflow will demonstrate the identification of secreted proteins that could be candidates for monitoring the efficacy of Bevacizumab, an anti-VEGFA molecule in the treatment of cancer. The workflow is first illustrated, then followed by actual analysis screenshots from Pathway Studio. We start the workflow by looking for proteins that are down regulated by the drug target and also have a negative effect on the disease or are down regulated in the disease state. The drug decreases the activity of the drug target. This results in increased production of the proteins negatively regulated by the drug target. Next, we identify which of these increased proteins are also secreted. This allows for simple assay design to measure increased abundance as a result of the drug decreasing the activity of its target. Bevacizumab is an angiogenesis inhibitor. It slows the growth of new blood vessels and is used in different countries to treat a variety of cancers, including colorectal, lung, breast, glioblastoma, kidney, and ovarian cancer. Bevacizumab is a monoclonal antibody that inhibits vascular endothelial growth factor A, called VEGFA. VEGFA stimulates angiogenesis in cancer. Here we see that in Pathway Studio, monoclonal antibodies are represented as small molecules. Let's look at the target of Bevacizumab, VEGFA. First, using the mammalian database, we will find downstream protein targets that VEGFA negatively regulates using the relationship types of expression and direct regulation. You can see by the number of relations, VEGFA is a well-studied protein. Now, let's identify which of these proteins that are down-regulated by VEGFA are also negatively associated with neoplasms, a general term for many cancers. In Pathway Studio, simply add the disease neoplasm to the pathway and then find all the connections between neoplasm and the other proteins in the pathway. We can see that there are many connections. Next, 
Remove all the positive effect relations between neoplasm and the proteins. Now we remove all the proteins that are no longer associated with neoplasms. Finally, select the pathway layout that displays the cellular localization of the proteins. Those proteins outside the membrane are secreted proteins, and they are candidate efficacy biomarkers for bevacizumab. You can expand this search using the same workflow and replace the general disease term of neoplasm with specific tumor types. Additionally, you can investigate more specific biomarker type of relations when utilizing the disease FX database in addition to the mammal database. The disease FX database contains a rich collection of more detailed relation types such as diagnostic and prognostic biomarkers, quantitative changes in the abundance, activity or expression of a protein in disease state, genetic changes in a gene in a disease state such as amplifications, mutations or deletions, changes in a protein's post-translational modification status such as phosphorylation or splicing, useful information of associations between cellular processes and diseases, and information about clinical trials for diseases and drugs. Many answers to the questions in your drug target and biomarker research can be easily discovered by using Pathways Studio. For a product demo or for more information, please visit our website.